Here's all warmed up, and here's what it sounds like. And if you wanted, you could be on in a few minutes, three minutes it takes to set it up. So my wife says, she timed me, just so you wouldn't get caught. You can shut it off, pull your tube out. Pull your adapter plug. Unhook everything, turn the radio back on, and return to normal radio. Didn't take very long at all. I checked. I could put this in my work with my socks and you would never know it was there. That's all you brought. You don't need a tube. You're using a tube from the host radio. And you think, well, how do you know they're all the same? Well, they, for some reason, in North America, they are. They all use 2 and 7 for the pin. Number 3 is the plate. Number four is a screen grid. Number five is the, the normal grid. And doesn't matter if it's a table radio, a, a 50L6 or a 6P6 or a 6L6 in an old radio. Or even the, some of the uh, battery powered radios. Uh, they, if they have a 7AC pinout, which is standard for beam powered tubes in North America with octo sockets. This radio worked. Why? Because the radio, it, your host radio, is just a power supply and you're using its tube so you know it's right. Never going to be wrong. Very ingenious device. They went on to improve it, but to be honest with you, it'd be hard to improve on. They're a very practical piece of equipment. B3LYX.